Boyle for Vinnie Walsh. Stadden sees space. Stadden has gone past Jessica Robertson. Bruiser has done it again. Maddie Stadden. Hey, Boyle, this is your life. <laughs> How are you? Good, thank you. How are you? Good. Uh, I believe you're recovering from an ACL injury. Is that right? I am, I am. I'm about three months post-op, so it's been a massive learning curve, but um, a journey that um, has challenged me, so I'm accepting it as that and, and moving forward positively, I guess. Given the COVID delay, are you a chance of playing at the end of the year? Oh, uh, I got asked this the other day, and when I first heard that New South Wales' uh, like origin was at the end of the year, and... I sort of, I guess, got a little bit hopeful and, and um, I'd look, I'd, I'd love to say with a miracle, possibly, but in saying that, um, you know, for the girls that are playing week in and week out and um, obviously with the shortened comp and, um, you know, you'd want to see those players that have played from the beginning, I guess, post-COVID to, to earn their spot and um, hopefully I'll be able to be involved with the New South Wales team this year and even if it's just on the sideline and, um, you know, getting around the girls would be still amazing. Well, how was that experience playing for New South Wales the last couple of years? Absolutely. Um, prop, yeah, indescribable, really. It's it's a dream come true. And any time that you get to, to don a, a sky blue jersey is, um, you know, a highlight of nearly everyone's career that gets the opportunity to do that. So um, very special to myself, you know, um, proudly, um, you know, New South Wales, my whole family is, and they're all on the stands in their sky blue jersey. So to be able to share that moment with them was something that I'll never forget. What about the fact there were so many girls? The first time when they played at North Sydney Oval, they had that wonderful crowd. and There were so many young girls uh, sitting there just, you know, you could tell they were watching their idols, they knew their football. What did that feel like? Honestly, incredible. Obviously, growing up, and, and um, it was such a male-dominant sport, and, um, you know, you'd go to the football and you'd, you'd wave to them as they're doing, you know, their lap after the game, and, and you know, to now flip it and, and be able to do that now for the younger generation is just... It's, it's unreal and um, it's just, it's still crazy to think that, you know, young girls, you know, come up to you and, you know, tell you that they look up to you and you're now that person. So, you know, um, well, I know all of the girls go out and try to, you know, lead as best as we can and, um, you know, we want to set, um, you know, the standards high of being a role model for these young girls and we want to make sure that when we leave the game, we leave it in a better place. So, um, yeah, it's just, it's an unreal feeling. Obviously, you know, you'd know it yourself, Freddie, and, um, it's yeah, it's it's unreal. It's you, you can't describe it. You only get one chance at Origin. There's only one game. What's that pressure like? Um, yeah. Look, the build-up's phenomenal. Um, I guess it's it's do or die, and um, you don't get a second chance. And I know the boys don't go out that mentality either, but they're fortunate they do get you know a second chance if they were happen to lose the first game. But um, yeah, we build it up like it's a grand final and obviously there's the origin hype around it. So um, everything's sort of heightened again. But, um, yeah, we just play it like it is, you know, a grand final because it is. And, um, like, yeah, you don't get a second chance. So you've got to take a, every opportunity when it comes. There was a lot to get your little blue ribbons off the men. That was really special. Um, the girls were absolutely stoked with that. Um, I know... Nearly, nearly all, all the girls have still got theirs at some, you know, they, they've held that very um, special and close to them, that's for sure. And that was massive for us and I guess um, made us feel, I guess, one whole team. Um, but it was awesome. It was such a small gesture, but it meant so much to us and um, very, very fortunate to, to have received those from the boys. Did you get yours off? I got mine from Tarek. Tarek. Yeah. He's a nice fella. Yeah. Fellow dragon. Belly Dragon, that's it. Pretty, um, pretty. you know, a lot of the boys went into depth. He was just like, you know, ripping. Um, I can't remember what it was, hell, ripping or something like that. And I was like, beauty, perfect. Like, that's perfect for me. So, um, yeah, it was a good laugh. And obviously playing with Rue and um, sent Rue on a little message, and um, which was pretty cool. So, When you come on in the 22nd minute, I think, uh, Queensland in front, what's it like? What's your mentality when you came off the bench? Um, I remember walking down the sideline and Bainsey, our uh, physio, he just, um, obviously I've got a special uh, bond with him and, and through Dragons and everything like that. And 
Um, he was just revving me up on the sideline and he's like, get in there, kill him. Like, you know, just that last minute sort of pep talk and I was just already on cloud nine and that just um, basically, yeah, helped me focus and I just wanted to go out there with as much energy as I could. So it was awesome to have him sort of, I guess, yelling at me as I was running on. A couple of good moments yourself, like the wins in the girls' games have been incredible. Like they've been, you know, I've had all the boys sitting there watching the games and, you know, they're all cheering and hollering, but... You know, yeah, Matty Studden scored right at the death of the game and um, some amazing victories. What's that like, you know, as they're going over and you can nearly feel victory? Oh, look, the first year I think I was soaking in every single minute of it and it was probably quite, I guess, overwhelming. Um, you know, just wanting to make every tackle and, you know, sort of thing. It was a bit sporadic. But the second year... I, I, you know, I really wanted to come on and, and, and myself make a make an impression and just make sure I was doing those, like you said, like I said before, the work ethic, making sure that that was there. But I was um, right next to Studs, actually, uh, when she scored that try. And, and there's a photo and I'm just um, clenching both my fists and just screaming with just sheer excitement because I knew that, you know, she'd just iced this game for us. And um, that was amazing, you know. I just wanted to just pick her up and just squeeze it, absolutely squeeze the life out of her. So that was pretty special to be right there next to her as she, you know, put it down and everyone was just... Um, I think that was when we sort of realised we'd, we'd won it and a um, very special moment. Who's your favourite teammate? Favourite teammate? Um, I, I just... I love Kez. I've got um, a good friendship with Kez and, and she's been amazing um, off the field for me as well, um, you know, always checking in on me and um, I guess being, uh, you know, an ear for me to have a chat to or a shoulder to cry on and, and she's the first person to have a laugh with and um, obviously, yeah, um, I'll, I'll, yeah, just I guess when I was coming through, like being a second rower and she's a second rower, you know, I look up to her in that regard but um, she's just a beautiful human so, yeah, Kez would be one of my favourites for sure. So you won a few awards yourself after games. You won the award at the um, in the New South Wales Ladies Con with uh, Samima. You also like yeah. to get personal accolades in amongst team awards. So after the Origin, um, Paddy, you know, we're going through. Um, you know, he was doing his um, debrief, and um, you know, he he was. It was amazing for him to, um, I guess, speak about. Um, you know, my impact and, um, you know, what he thought I brought to the game and, you know, and then announced that, you know, I was getting a, um, a coach's award and, and gave me one of the, the game balls, which um, such a special moment. I've, I've never actually received a game ball or, you know, um, a signed ball from, you know, my peers and things like that. So that was amazing. Um, you know, again, you know, you don't get, you don't go out to play to win these personal accolades, but to be able to, you know, um, receive that in such a um, special time, like during something like Origin was so special to me. And um, like I said before, you know, if, if your players outside, you aren't doing your job, then, you know, you can't do yours. And my job was to go on there and bring some energy and, you know, stick my tackles. And I was fortunate enough to, to get away with a few things on there. And, um, you know, really, I just really wanted to lift the girls because I knew, you know, we were a bit stale. Um, just wanted to come on and bring some energy and, and get the girls firing. And, um, you know, Studs was amazing during that game and, and Samima's a workhorse. And, you know, like I said, if those girls aren't doing their job, then, you know, you don't you don't end up doing yours and, and getting an award like that. So something very special to me and something that I treasure. Studden has gone past Jessica Rellis.